Okay, so I come across this TikTok video, and I mean, you know, it's popular these days to, super popular to, uh, you know, fuck with the police and demand your rights. And, you know, listen, man, I'm uh, as a retired LAPD officer and, and been in law enforcement my whole adult life, pretty much, at the exception of the military. I'm 100% for protecting your rights. I'm 100% for not being taken advantage of or, bu or abused by law enforcement. I get that. But there is a such a thing as going too far. And I think these cop watch people or these types of people that want to shove the cameras in the face of the cops and just give them a hard time for content or just, you know, to be some sort of an urban hero. I'm not sure what the motivations are anymore other than content is what my suspicion is. Uh, you know, it's it goes too far. I mean, we have to, as a people, we have to decide, do we want to live in a society with rules and regulations? Uh, or do we want to live in a jungle where it's the strong eat the weak? And, you know, think about your sisters and your mothers and your grandmothers, if that's the choice you want to make. So... If we do want to live in a society with rules and we want to have people do things like stop when a light turns red as opposed to just driving through the intersection hoping that everybody survives, we have to work with that system. If we are just working against the system just to do it, you end up with idiots like the guy that made this video. No offense, but... This is ridiculous. Here, a guy gets called. And the thing to remember during this is this officer was called by the neighbor, I guess, because she said, hey, this dude's stealing doors from this abandoned house. Now, bear in mind, the guy is within his constitutional rights to cause a problem. But my point is, how is that helping society? The police have to respond to a call. And in this case, I want you to imagine that this guy owns this house and somebody stole all the doors from his house and stole whatever was inside of it. And the police just couldn't come because, you know, they don't want to offend anybody and they can't ask questions. I mean, what the hell's the point of having a law enforcement agency? So let's see what happens. They said you're over here stealing doors. From the beginning here. Appreciate that. Oops. My Thank bad. you. Um... I got called on you because you said you're stealing doors off these house. Do you suspect me of stealing doors? Listen, man, I'm just coming here because we were called and you stealing doors off this house. He's already house. asked they for his ID man. or his badge number doors. and all that shit. Are you stealing doors off this house? I'm not stealing doors. Okay. What is your purpose to be on this property? Changing the locks. Okay. That is no problem. Okay. Do you have ID on you? I do have ID. Can I see it, please? No, you can't. Now, this guy may be right, may be wrong. You know, there's many cases where you do not need to provide identification to the police. But just because you are not required to, you know, you're not required to give identification to, uh, uh, you know, a person at a doctor's office that, that wants to see your insurance card or whatever. Maybe that's a bad example. But my point is you can say no, and then there's going to be issues. Why would you not want to make it easy for this officer who, can, who is being polite and is doing his job? How else is he supposed to, I, you know, what if that was your house and you were on vacation? Wouldn't you want whoever was there to provide identification? Or should the cop just say, oh, well, I tried and go get a coffee and a donut and let this guy steal all your shit. He's going to have to figure out who you are because that's the whole point of having a law enforcement agency. I can ask you. Okay, you want to go this round? Do you work for a company? Yes, I do. Okay, who is the company? I mean, does it does it matter? Wow. I have to prove that you have right to be here. Do you, you suspect me of breaking the law? <laughs> it's a abandoned house, correct? It's vacant. Okay, who owns the house? Mortgage company. The mortgage company. Who sent you over here to fix the house? If that's what you're doing. That's, you know, that's confidential. You know, my, my clients are my business. Okay. Hashtag being difficult. How do I know that you're not stealing the doors and that you're fixing the doors? Well, call the lady right there, investigate with her, ask her what she what she saw, and then come back to me. And that's who called. Well, somebody over here called me. 
So that you're still well, the lady next door. So he wants the cop to go next door, say, hey, what did you see? And she's going to say the same shit she said on the phone. Uh, I saw the guy still indoors. And then he's going to have to come back over, and the guy's going to just spin him around again. What else? There's no conclusion here if you follow this dude's uh, alleged logic. Okay. That's who called? I, I suspect. I don't know. Why, did she say something to you? Yeah, she was out here yelling and screaming. I told her, call the police. What was she yelling and screaming about? <laughs> that, she, that she didn't want me to change the locks. I told her what I was... I told you what I'm doing. I'm changing the locks. Okay. Let me open this up here. Couple down on he says he's here changing the locks. He won't provide ID. He won't tell us name of this company. He wants to know the reason for the stop and all that. He's recording and he wants to do all that. Okay. 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 Okay.
What a that's a, that's private property right there. Bottom that's not feeder. that's not for you to go in. Wow. I, I do do I need to prove it's my property? Cop watch. Yeah. Why? Can you just because you're there yourself, fucking with the locks. Verify it is your property. That, that, that's it. How how is me giving my name gonna say that that's my property? Because I can look it up. And, uh, Jesus look, look, Christ! Is this guy that dense? It's that simple. These guys would have been gone a long time ago. No man, we're good. Thank you. Is that simple? Listen, I. Are you detain? Are you detaining me? Let me let me ask you that. Yeah, right now we are. We're trying to figure out if this is your property, okay? All you gotta do is provide an ID. You say, did you buy this property, or you work for a company? That's I'm, what I'm, I'm, I'm working right now, and you got you guys are wasting my time. Well, you're wasting our time. So, I mean, you guys got me detained. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for you to do your investigation. Well, you I'm gonna continue working. So, will you provide ID? I'm not gonna provide ID because I didn't break the law. Oh God! This is not a stop and ID state, right? Unbelievable. Do you do you think I've broken this house? You think I'm stealing the doors? If you don't, I, you, you you drilled the lock. Did I drill the lock? Yeah, and you said you well, did. That's what you and said. Where, where where where's it? Where yeah? Where's the lock drilled from? Wow, this guy is so edgy. on the inside. You are so okay. Awesome. Most people, people, you know, drill the locks on the outside. Yeah, if they're trying to break in. Teach these Come pigs on, a man. lesson. Teach these so pigs a property? lesson. If you don't own it, who owns it? One of my clients. Okay. Was he taking your word? I, I can't. I'm not going to give you my private information. <laughs> Do you have a phone number that I can call them to verify that you're allowed? Why to would you not? Listen. Just looking I'm for supposed to be here. I'm not reason to no to good. Difficult. Nothing nefarious going on here. I'm working. Yeah, we're supposed to believe everybody. Because all criminals tell you they're criminals. What an idiot. So you're not going to provide ID? I'm not going to provide ID. Absolutely not. I didn't break the law. Now, if I if I broke the law, are you, are you asking for ID? Are you demanding ID on the threat of arrest? Something like that? No, I wanted your okay. ID. Okay. I wanted your ID uh, so then... We can call the accessor's office, find out who owns this, and uh, see if you're... You can, you, you can still call the accessor's office, do the investigation, call the accessor's office, you had the address, I call them. You, I need to know who you are. Yeah, how's he supposed to know who you are, dumbass? What would the assessor tell you? The name. The assessor doesn't know what's going on. tell me the owner of the house. Okay. And then, and then what? And then I contact the owner. Okay. And then I well, then to do the, do your investigation, come back, right. I'll be here. So, so then he'll be like... Yeah, I gave permission to blah 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 to be here, but I don't know who you are. Well, if they gave someone permission to be here, then mm -hmm. you're. It doesn't oh, matter. God. It doesn't matter. What a fucking. How do these people. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue working. I so, mean, these got to be the bottom. You guys do your investigation. The lowest common denominator of society. This guy represents. Number? Un fucking believable. I don't know, man. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, I wouldn't wear the badge today for a million dollars, man. No fucking way. I just don't. I couldn't deal with it. I don't think these people are worth protecting. Fuck that.